Welcome back. As we have been reporting, the Federal Communications Commission attempting to fundamentally change the way it oversees high-speed Internet service, proposing to regulate the Internet as a public utility. If enacted, this would bring a new definition to the economics of the Internet industry. Telecom reporter for The Wall Street Journal, Ryan Knudsen, joins us now, who has done a lot of work and study on this. Thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Your observations about what we're hearing today from the FCC. Well, we finally arrived at the strongest possible rules for net neutrality. I mean, the FCC, when they started bringing up net neutrality more than 10 years ago, they sort of tiptoed in at each time. And every time the industry challenged those rules, and each time the FCC has come back with stronger. And in 2010 uh, was the last time the FCC proposed rules like this. Net neutrality, advocate, net neutrality advocates said that they wanted the agency to use this Title II approach because they thought it would uh, be better to withstand legal challenges. And so that got thrown out in court, but finally the FCC is coming back and they're actually going to do it this time around. Well, I mean, the, the pushback on this was that if we were to see the Internet regulated, that we're going to see a big slowdown in spending. We're going to see a big slowdown in investment. Do you foresee that happening? Well. It's hard to say that it would happen. Sprint actually a couple weeks ago came out and said that if we go this Title II approach, but if we withhold from the most um, unattractive aspects of the law, we don't think that um, investment would slow down that much. And you know, these are companies that are still competing against one another. It's hard to say necessarily that they're going to slow down investment when other companies might up their investment and they might lose customers. How does a consumer get impacted by this news today from the FCC? Well, the goal for the FCC is for this not to change anything. I mean, their goal is to basically preserve how the internet has been functioning the last 10 years, which is that if I'm Verizon, I can't sell a fast lane to customers. So that may, gives me, that means that I have to build my network in such a way that just is free of con congestion um, through the whole. So the idea is that this won't, this, it won't change things for consumers. Are there new fees? Are there new sort of regulations that the companies involved will face now with the potential ruling? The, the FCC was careful to try to leave all that stuff out. Okay. A big question. So we don't know. We, we don't know right now because it, it, the states might try to use this as an, a, an ability to put their own fees on, but the FCC was actually explicit in saying that this won't come with any new fees, this specific proposal, but it's, it could maybe happen in the future, but it's not clear. You're writing about this today for the journal? Uh, yes. What are you going to be focused on in the article? Um, well, I'm not sure that I have a specific article planned on this right now, but I mean, there's, there's a lot of future implications that um, the, the provisions could affect. Like, one thing that's really open-ended is these sponsored data programs um, that AT&T, for instance, has had. It's not clear how the rules are going to affect that, which those, those programs are where you can say that if, if I'm Netflix, Netflix doesn't do this, but for example, they could say that all the traffic won't count against your data plan. That's something that's still sort of open-ended here. So it's not exactly clear how some of these things are going to affect um, programs that are on wireless data in particular. All right, that's one area to look at. Ryan, we'll be watching for your article uh, and uh, your work on this. Thanks very much. Thanks. Ryan Knudsen from the Journal joining us. Back to the market rally next, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is holding on to a triple-digit move. We're at the highs of the day. Back in a moment on opening bell.